Mitt Romney causes cancer, and Obama will force you into a gay marriage. <laughs> you can say anything in a negative political ad. And that's today's BFD. Brain Food Daily. Hey everyone, I'm Trayvon Free with Brain Food Daily. You been watching much TV lately? Caught up on Honey Boo Boo? Dance Moms? Frontline? If so, you know that negative campaign ads are clogging the airwaves. This election season, we've had to deal with more rage than Ann Coulter's personal assistant. A whopping 70% of presidential ads in 2012 have been negative, up from just 9% in 2008. So why are you mad, bros? You can thank Citizens United, that line drive to the balls of democracy. That landmark Supreme Court decision lifted all limits on political spending by corporations. And after that, political ad spending rose 1,100%. That's a lot of percent. Look, rich people spending their way into politics is nothing new. But just like buying weed, you used to have to be subtle about it. Check out this ad from Priorities USA, a pro-Obama super PAC funded entirely by outside donors. And my wife became ill, and then I took her up to the Jackson County Hospital and, and, and admitted her for pneumonia, and that's when they found the cancer. And by then, it was stage four. It was, it was, there was nothing they could do for her. And she passed away in 22 days. I do not think Mitt Romney realizes what he's done to anyone. No, I don't think Mitt Romney realizes he gave your wife cancer either. But it's not just the Democrats. Both sides are guilty of taking their opponent's words out of context. Check this one out from the pro-Romney Super PAC Crossroads. Buck Obama's got lots of excuses for the bad economy. Headwinds coming from Europe. We've had a string of bad luck. An earthquake in Japan. An Arab Spring. An ATM, you don't go to a bank teller. They're not even quoting full sentences. Like Twitter trolls, none of these attack ads at anything of substance to the debate. These groups are spending all their cash on ads that take sound bites out of context, rewrite history, all with one goal in mind. Keep the voters scared and confused. The sad thing is, it works. You can make the best person in the world look guiltier than Chris Christie in line at Cinnabon. It's not even that hard. Here, I'll show you. What do we really know about Jesus? He associates with prostitutes and lives with 12 men. He vandalized a place of worship and turned water into wine. He claims to be the son of God. So who is Joseph? Listen to his own words. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Turn the other cheek. Sell all that you have, and give to the poor. Jesus, bad for business, bad for America. Negative ads work. They make a candidate look bad no matter what they believe in. But what else do they work at? Making voters disinterested? Encouraging ignorance? Scaring my Nana? Take action to protect yourself from manipulation. Click the link in our description below to fact check the claims in these ridiculous ads and find out exactly who's providing the money behind the message. I'm Trayvon Free, and thanks for watching BFD. See you next time. Playing Food